Dave, and together with our dogs Bell and Hudson, we're exploring the world in our Casita travel trailer. Come see where we go next. Today we leave from the Alora Gorge Conservation Area where we've been camping for the past couple days and we head only 20 minutes down the road to the Guelph Lake Conservation Area. Both of these places are run by the Grand River Conservation Authority which has a surprisingly large number of campgrounds within a very small area. So we'll see how this one compares. We are probably a little spoiled from staying at the Alora Gorge Conservation Area last night, which has tons of interesting scenery and private lots. And because of this, we weren't as impressed with this campground. Most of the campsites in the area that our lot was in were basically in a big field. I should point out, however, that the lots were huge. And there are other sections of this park that did have private lots. Some sections of this park, like the one that we camped in, have water and power, but most of the more private campsites have no services. Another downside about this campground is that there's little to no cell phone coverage at many of the campsites, and this probably doesn't matter to most people who are out camping, but because I need to stay connected for work, this was a bit of a challenge for us. As the campground's name implies, this campground is located on Guelph Lake. This lake is actually a man-made water reservoir, and as a result doesn't have the same scenic shorelines that we're used to seeing on lakes throughout Ontario. However, it's still a nice water body, and there are two beaches located throughout the park that are great spots for swimming. For those of you who enjoy live music, this campground does host a number of concerts and festivals throughout the summer at its outdoor stage. We thought that this outdoor stage structure was actually pretty cool because of the live roof. It isn't something you often see in Ontario. All in all, this was not our favorite ever campground for the reasons I've mentioned previously. However, because of the low cost, the large lots, and the fact that it's located on a lake, we would still recommend it to our fellow travelers. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does help us out. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.